Hello everyone, it's Mallory here with All About Cats, and I'm welcoming you to another cat food brand review. So in this week's video, we're going to be talking about Hill's Science Diet. So you probably know this brand, you've probably developed an opinion on it. I mean, it's difficult to walk into a vet's office without seeing some Hill's Science Diet on the shelf, or you might have even adopted your cat with a bag of it. I know I adopted Wessie with a bag of Science Diet that came from the shelter. This is a really, really popular brand, and it has a reputation for being very popular among vets. In fact, uh, they call themselves the number one vet recommended brand. But uh, this reputation has made it a rather controversial brand, uh, along with other Hills Pet Nutrition brands. A lot of people are talking about this brand and debating over whether or not it's worth it or deserves the reputation that it's developed. So in this video, I wanted to take an in-depth look at Hills Science Diet, talk about uh, the nutrition that it offers, um, and whether or not it actually is going to be a good choice. So I've done hours of research on this brand. I have uh, interviewed a veterinarian, talked about some of these popular vet recommended brands like Science Diet. I've submitted one of their recipes to an independent lab for analysis, and I have tried out some of their foods with my own cats. So uh, you can use the video navigation if you would like to jump to any particular section, but other than that, uh, let's jump on into it. So Hill Science Diet is just one of a number of lines offered by Hill's Pet Nutrition, which since 1976 has been owned by Colgate Palmolive. Uh, it's one of the biggest brands uh, in the pet food space, and again, it has this reputation for being a vet-recommended brand. And this reputation goes way back. So the company was originally founded as a rendering facility in Topeka, Kansas in 1907. They eventually added on a milling division, and then in the 1940s, they got into pet food. And so they helped to create the world's first therapeutic diet uh, for pets. Um, so this was created by a Dr. Uh, Mark L. Morris. And Interestingly, his first veterinary diet was a kidney food for a dog named Buddy. Um, so this was a celebrity seeing eye dog um, who would kind of tour, spreading the word about this whole idea of seeing eye dogs in general, and eventually he developed uh, some health problems. And so this diet was developed to help him out. Apparently it worked, and this idea of veterinary diets caught on, and Hills Pet Nutrition was the first to manufacture this type of food. So Hills is well known for their prescription diet, which is actually a trademarked term. So you'll notice that other brands don't call their foods prescription foods. They'll call them veterinary diets, they'll call them therapeutic diets. They will not call them a prescription diet. And uh, Hills has invested a lot into um, establishing themselves as a brand that offers scientifically formulated vet recommended foods. A core part of the way that Hills is set apart from the competition and cements its status as this leader in uh, pet nutrition in general is by employing over 220 um, food scientists, veterinarians, and nutritionists on their team. They run the Hills Pet Nutrition Center in Kansas, which is considered to be a world-class research facility. They fund a lot of education. They're very, very involved in pet nutrition research. So in addition to that um, development department, they're also focusing on higher standards for food production. Their foods are all manufactured in company-owned facilities, so they're able to control all of that. And then uh, before the foods go out, they're subjected to many, many safety tests. So every batch of food is supposed to be subjected to 60 quality tests. They're doing frequent supplier inspections. Overall, they say that they're holding everything to a high standard for safety and quality. However, they have had a few recalls, uh, even in recent history. So just recently in 2019, there was a huge recall that affected over 22 million cans of Hill's dog food. And this recall um, involved excessive levels of vitamin D in the food. Not only was it a significant recall, the FDA ended up writing a warning letter to Hill saying that they weren't following their own procedures, they hadn't properly inspected the ingredients from the supplier, and this was a big failing. They were given a deadline by which they had to uh, show that they had implemented changes in their process. And so that was a pretty big deal. The FDA came out and said that Hills was not upholding their own quality standards. So this 
you know, calls their safety and quality standards into question in general. And again, it's not the only recall that Hills Pet Nutrition Foods have been involved in. In November of 2015, there was a withdrawal, which is not the same thing as a recall of several variety of science diet food. 62 bags of science diet dog food were recalled in 2014 due to potential salmonella contamination. In 2007, Hills was one of the brands involved in the sweeping melamine recalls that all of us probably remember. So overall, we're looking at four recalls in the last 20 or so years, plus one withdrawal. So a number of of things going on affecting um, science diet. Um, But now that we've gotten some background on science diet, I want to narrow in on their food specifically and the nutrition that you're getting from them. So the Science Diet lineup is enormous. There are over 70 different recipes available from Science Diet, and all of them focus on different life stages and specific needs. So you're going to see kitten food, you're going to see adult food, you're going to see senior food, you will see food intended to support dental health, you'll see food made for digestive issues, and skin issues, you'll see food developed to support urinary tract health. There are many, many, many different recipes coming from Hill's Science Diet. But while there is a lot of variety in the Science Diet lineup, there are some things that are common across all of their recipes. So while other companies are going to focus on having an ingredient list that looks nice, Science Diet is going to include things like chicken byproduct meal. It's going to include um, corn gluten meal. It's going to include brewer's rice. These ingredients are all added in order to reach that nutrient profile. So while these ingredient lists are not what is popularly considered to be desirable for a lot of us, they argue that we're getting the right nutrients at the end of the day. And indeed, these foods do meet the requirements laid out by the AFCO food nutrient profiles, and many of them have been subjected to feeding trials to demonstrate that they are capable of keeping um, a cat healthy. However, I have noticed that most of their foods tend to be quite high in carbohydrates. A lot of them contain plant protein sources, um, sometimes seemingly over animal protein sources. To my understanding, there are some questions about the species appropriateness of these diets. Let's take a closer look at their chicken recipe for adult cats. So this is a dry food. I submitted it to an independent lab for analysis, and they gave me a little bit of a better picture of what's in this food than what we're seeing on the guarantee analysis alone. So looking at this report, we see that they didn't detect any yeast, mold, or bacteria, which is a good thing. And then we're seeing uh, the nutrient distribution down below. So looking at the nutritional analysis here, um, the food is 34% protein, 12.8% fat, and 41.4% carbohydrates. Converting that to dry matter basis values, that is 36% protein, 13.6% fat, and 44% carbohydrates on a dry matter basis. We're also seeing phosphorus and sodium levels, which may be of interest to some of you, especially if you have a cat with kidney disease. But overall, these just seem normal um, compared to the typical cat food. What this analysis tells us is that the food is probably a little bit higher in protein than you might assume based on the guarantee analysis, a little bit lower in fat, and it also shows that this food is quite high in carbohydrates. And I found that, again, this is common across the science diet lineup. You're going to see quite high carbohydrate values. For instance, even their typical wet food is going to be around 35% carbohydrates on a dry matter basis, which is significantly higher than we would expect in a typical wet food and naturally significantly higher than we would want in general. Overall, with a lot of potentially lower value, less digestible plant and animal protein sources, combined with that high carbohydrate content, I can't really say that Hill Science Diet seems to be nutritionally ideal. Um, And I don't really know that the high price of these foods is justified either. So I took a look at a few different recipes, and it's looking like their dry food is usually about 19 cents per ounce, or about maybe 50 cents per day for a typical cat, and then their wet foods are costing about 58 cents per ounce, Um, and that's going to add up to over $3.50 per day for a typical cat. So without a doubt, Hill Science Diet is a bit more expensive than a lot of other brands offering similar ingredients and similar nutrient distributions. Um, For instance, you can get 
somewhat cheaper foods from Purina One, Purina Beyond, Purina Pro Plan. Uh, there are a number of options out there um, that probably are subjected to feeding trials and which offer similar nutrition while also being a little bit cheaper. So overall, having looked at the history of Hill's Pet Nutrition, looked at the sourcing and manufacturing practices, delved into the recall history, and uh, analyzed the nutrition offered by these recipes, is Hill Science Diet going to be a good choice? So, you know, uh, writing the script for this video and writing the review a couple of years ago and even talking about it now, I find myself kind of hesitant to really talk about Hill Science Diet. And I think the reason is that it's really cemented this place in the veterinary community uh, to the extent that it kind of makes you feel like you're saying something wrong by implying that it might not be the best or even aligning yourself with a sort of unscientific crowd, right? Um, but based on my experience, not as a veterinary nutritionist or a veterinarian, but just as someone who's reviewed a lot of cat food brands and um, spent a lot of time researching feline nutrition, I have to say I don't really see anything about Hill Science Diet that justifies the relatively high cost or which is really set apart from any other brands. Um, certainly they're doing a great job with product variety and I know that a lot of people absolutely love this brand and their cats love it too. But other than that, I'm not really seeing anything impressive in terms of ingredient quality, not really seeing anything impressive um, in the nutrition offered by these foods. And certainly I find their recall history a little bit concerning, even though this is a big brand and you can expect to have some recalls associated with their foods. Um, even so, I, I find it a bit concerning. So I can't really say that this looks like the best brand. Um, I have to give it a relatively low rating, maybe six out of 10 and a C plus grade. It just doesn't really look that impressive. I personally can't really recommend this brand and would advise looking for other options that offer a bit higher meat content and which are lower in carbohydrates and seem to honor your cat's needs as a carnivore a little bit better. So I hope that you found this video helpful. I know it's a, man, it's a controversial brand, um, but um, I hope that you found it helpful and maybe it gave you some perspective or clarity on this brand. Um, if you have used Science Diet in the past, please let me know about it in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts on this brand. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, there will be links in the description if you like to check out the products mentioned here. And I will also put a link to the complete written version of this review. If you're interested in more product reviews, buyer's guides, and information on all things cats, please subscribe to the All About Cats channel and click the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks again. Bye.